Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. The fact that you're willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to watch my content really does mean the world to me. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. And today we're going to be talking about the last thing he wanted, which is a Netflix film that's just been released today, but actually premiered all the way back in January at the Sundance film. Oh, and... Oh, wow. Okay, just sorry, just wait. Torch. Okay. So, load shedding just happened. Um, using my flashlight right now so for those of you that don't know what load shedding is it's pretty much where um escom which is our only power company in south africa turns off the electricity for two hours and so we've got no power anymore and it is very late and i'm a little bit frustrated i won't lie okay well you know what power is going to be out for another two hours and you don't actually need to see my face so let's just carry on with this review. This is my Netflix review on the last thing he wanted. And I've got a little bit to say about this film. I really do. I just don't know where I want to put this torch. <laughs> okay, so um, when I was, you know, just doing, I did the briefest amount of research on this film. I saw that Rotten Tomatoes gave this film 7%. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Rotten Tomatoes. I really don't trust their reviews at all. I think the critics and the audience um it's always far too different for me to actually take Ron Tomatoes seriously um and yeah I think 7% was very very low for this film personally this wasn't my favorite film ever but I think 7% is far 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 too low so what did this film actually what, what's the story of this film can I give you a brief synopsis well this film follows Elena played just brilliantly in my opinion by Anne Hathaway I think she was just fantastic in this film and Elena is basically a journalist she's an investigative journalist if I'm not mistaken and she has just been sucked into this massive massive wormhole just she's so out of her like what she was expecting basically she was um, asked by her father who basically has some sort of mental illness at the moment he's forgetting a bunch of things he's a little bit delusional as well to a degree and he basically goes look Elena daughter that I love get on this plane and do this deal this is the big one please do this for me and being a good daughter she does it Oof! I just kicked my camera and being a good daughter she does it and it turns out to be a front where these guys are basically selling weapons trading in cocaine it's basically just this big 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 mess up and she is trying to uncover the story this is what the film is about and I have to say it is a slow 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 burner I only up until like li literally the halfway point was the first time in the movie where I got slightly interested and I really don't think you have to wait almost an hour before you get interested in the film it really bummed me out I really had to force myself to watch this film through that first hour as I said, Anne Hathaway is brilliant in this film. I think her performance was great. She was awesome. Her character, on the other hand, was really boring. And I know that might sound like a bit like a contradiction. What I'm trying to say is her performance was great. When she was sad, you could really see that the character was sad. When she was scared, the character, you could see she was scared. But the character herself, her personality was very, very bland. Very much like this. I'm not saying that um, Anne Hathaway acted like this no she had a lot of expression in her acting but the character herself you just read the character description to me i would have probably gone that's a boring character i don't know if i want to spend an entire movie watching this character and yeah you feel that throughout the film honestly the character does bore you a little bit and i got a little bit disappointed knowing that i was going to spend almost two hours with this character another performance that really stood out to me oh my word was willem dafoe now i've loved willem dafoe ever since i saw him in the original spider-man and then in boondock saints and then in aquaman and then he carries on and i've just become a massive fan of his i mean one of my favorite parts about john wick is just the fact that he was in it and i wasn't expecting i love willem dafoe and he was just absolutely incredible in this his character is just so much fun to watch and he's super offensive and he's definitely not politically correct but he was just so much fun and he was very engaging to watch so Willem Dafoe just knocked it out of the park he was fantastic so this is very much a character driven film I think you would say it's about Elena trying to discover the story but the biggest problem about this film for me personally was that it just felt like Elena didn't even know what she was wanting to do she keeps it felt like she was trying to uncover the story but then at the same time she's trying to get out of the country but then she's not trying to get out of the country and her lack of a defined character motivation made it hard for me to invest in her story and her character arc and what her eventual goal is. There's this one point in the movie where she says, all I have left is the story. And I sit there going, you have a daughter? Maybe try to stay alive for her. 
And then there's this, there's even the scene where she's on the phone with her daughter and she's like, pack your bags, I'll meet you tomorrow. Awesome. And then her actions don't reflect that. She puts herself in a compromising position that has the potential to not allow her to get that goal, to be with her daughter. And so I just sit there going, you tell your daughter you're going to come see her tomorrow. And then you, you put yourself in a situation where that's not possible. So that sort of character motivations, those sort of character decisions also sucks me out of the film because I can't get invested with you when you're constantly contradicting yourself and your own character motivations. One thing that I really enjoyed about this film was the cinematography. From the opening scene, I was just like, this film is just shot very, very well. Probably my favorite aspect of the film. There were so many shots that were beautiful. Just the color grading as well, just really, really, really good. It felt like a very professional film. That, that's the literal vibe I got from it. So when, the moment it started, I was like, hmm, this movie is well made. I, I like that about it. And then another thing I actually really likes about the film is it's got a very minimal use of an existing soundtrack. There isn't really much. It's all very much muted or neutral. Even in moments of tension, you don't really notice the, the movie. Because, I mean, <clears throat> even in moments of tension, you don't really notice the, the music. And it really helped add to this really realistic feeling of the movie because you were there. You weren't being distracted by this like, ba ba da 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 I don't know, that was my really bad excuse of like trying to make a really tense soundtrack. But um, you didn't get that in this, in this movie. Everything was subdued and you could only relate to the emotions that you're supposed to be feeling by engaging with the characters and the performances that the actors are giving. And I really enjoyed this really subtle, subdued approach to music and film. One thing I really like about movies, and I know lots of people don't, but I've mentioned it in one of my previous videos, is that I really like narration in films. I think narration is actually a great narrative device um, when done correctly. This film opens and ends with narration, and I don't know why. Basically, the narration is done by Elena, but when she's narrating, she feels like a very different character to when she's actually in the film. So the Elena that's narrating isn't the same Elena that's the character in the film that we're watching. So that was very, very distracting. But the narration also serves no storytelling perspective, from my opinion. The opening scene which is my favorite scene in the entire movie actually, which shows the horrors of war and you see all of these burnt corpses and it's just this horrifying imagery is backed up by this narration. And the narration to that degree in relation to what we're seeing is very, very good, but it actually has no impact on the rest of the film. So the narration was purposeless in my opinion and the moment you can take something out of a film and it makes no difference to the rest of the film, I think that's when you've made a mistake or you've made an error and you shouldn't be doing that. Um, I think that everything you've put into the film should be put in for a reason and it should have a function. I believe if you took the narration out, it wouldn't change the film at all. And I think that's a problem. It's, it's not essential to the point of the movie or the enjoyment of the movie. So yeah guys, just a quick rundown of the movie. Performances were great, cinematography was awesome, but the story left a lot to be desired. It was very slow at the beginning, only about halfway through the film that I actually started to get invested, I started to get interested, and that was a little bit of a bummer. But guys, thank you so, so, so much for watching this review. I am very sorry that I'm having to light this up with my cell phone. It is very frustrating and I'm sorry but this is all I can do right now, seeing as there's no power. But you guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please leave me a like. Do not be afraid to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next review. Hey guys, I'm back. I'm just going to use this time to shout out one of my friend's YouTube channels. Yes, I'm going to be talking about Hayley McKay, Mac on Movies. Guys, she is absolutely incredible with her movie reviews. If you are looking for good reviews that analyze the movie perfectly, seriously guys, go check her out. I very rarely disagree with her. 